Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos. Today I'm joined today with uh, Josh or We493. What's up, man? How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Doing good, doing good. And uh, we're actually here today, guys, for a uh, New Year's video. We know it's a little bit past the New Year's, but 2011 has just started. And uh, we here at the Digital Dojos want to give you guys our top five tips, uh, you know, in general for technology uh, for the new year. You know, some stuff you guys should be taking advantage of, some stuff you should be doing since it's, you know, a new fresh start. Um, you know, take a lot, some a lot, a look at a lot of services, and you know, trying out some new things. So with that, uh, I will go ahead and jump into our first tip, and that is dealing with system cleaning. You know, keeping your system at top performance, whether it's old, new, you know, a machine you just got, a machine you've had, keeping it top performance. You know, how do you get it to perform better? You want to keep it clean, obviously. So you can do a lot of stuff from Windows tweaking. You know, with MS Config, and we've covered that in the past um, other videos but you know tools like CCleaner you can check this out all, all links will be in the video description for all our tips and we'll sort this out and organize it so you know where to get your you know which links are where but yeah so CCleaner it's a great piece of uh, tool for it's a great tool for cleaning your Windows PC it protects your privacy makes your computer faster and more secure it's easy to install small download and fast so clear some areas like your browsing you know your temporary files your history cookies etc uh, it also goes into Windows and it goes into the recycling bin, recent documents, temporary files, and log files. And it includes a registry cleaner so it removes some un old, un old or unused registries. So it's a really easy tool to use and uh, it's free. So check it out and you can you know get, around, get rid of a lot of crap that's on your PC. All right, moving on, uh, there's Revo Uninstaller, a program uninstaller. If you're familiar with the Mac uh, software uh, where it's called App Zapper, this is basically very similar on the Windows side. You can take uh, applications that you're having either problems with them, you know, uninstalling, or if you want to get a full, complete uninstall, you know, sometimes when you uninstall uh, application from the hard drive, it leaves leftovers. It leaves, you know, registry keys. It leaves uh, program files. And um, what Revo Uninstaller does, it does a deep scan. You can see here of your registry and the hard drive, and it removes all those extra files, those leftover files that programs are leaving. So you can see it's. Uh, easy little interface here it just looks like your control panel interface and you can go through and hit uninstall and you'll get information about you know how many files need to be uninstalled along with the program files and all that it'll do a little scan and it'll completely remove that program from your system all right so that's a really really uh you know nice program to have as well when you're you know cleaning out shop on your hard drive and deleting a lot of old files and programs all right the pc decrapifier so this uh what it does is you can here, I'm going to go ahead and click how it works. You can simply download the file, just run the exe, and uh, what this does is it removes basically all the crap from your computer, especially if you are on you know a new computer. There's a lot of bloatware, you know, all that stuff that you know manufacturers like HP or Dell, you know, they'll include on your uh, computer. And you can see here what it removes. It shows uh, these like you know things like AOL things, Big Fix, Corel Paint, uh, Google Desktop, Google Toolbar. McAfee, you know, these trial versions of Microsoft Office, and you know, there's way more I can go on. It gets all these, you know, known applications that are going to be to known to be installed on new computers and takes rid of all that crap and, you know, much, much easier to, uh, you know, have a new, fresh system, especially if you just bought the system. You don't want it bogged down with all this stuff. So, with that, that is tip one. This is cleaning out your PC, your Windows system. Uh, you can go ahead and look. There's some Mac equivalents. Like I said, there's App Zapper. Uh, and some other, I think CCleaner is only available on Windows, but you know, you, there's always other alternatives if you're on different operating systems. So with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and let Josh go along with tip two, and uh, Josh, you can take that away and let him know what it's about. Okay, so our second tip for 2011 is back up your data online. So we'll start off here with uh, Carbonite. Carbonite is a, an online backup solution that has a simple, I think $5 a month price, and you back up, it automatically backs up all your data every night to the cloud, and they don't charge you for storage. So unlimited storage for $5 a month. And the second website is mosey.com, which is very similar to Carbonite. It's basically the exact same thing, $5 a month. Or actually, I think it's four ninety five, and unlimited data backup, and uh, it backs up as often as you like usually uh, anywhere from once an hour to once a night and it's a great backup solution and I've used this for my, uh, for myself for a while now and then our third website is dropbox.com this is um, 
it's kind of a backup solution. It's not as good as hardcore backing up as Mosey or Carbonite, but it's great for keeping files synced, uh, kind of in check, maybe between multiple machines. And there's a desktop application that basically puts a folder on your computer that syncs it with the cloud. And however many computers you install that application on, it, your data will all be synced with the cloud. And it's great with multiple versions of a file. Say you have a Word document and you make changes. You can also go back in time through the changes of the document. And it's a really great backup solution you should probably check out. And that's that. All right, guys. So backup is very important, especially online backup. One thing I want to mention about online backup before I move on to our next tip is just one of those things that you really want to have. You know, you can have the hard copy backup, you know, like a physical media, you know, whether it's a CD, uh, external hard drives, uh, you know, whatever you may use, even uh, flash drives or pen drives to back up, you know, that important data. But you want to have what they call off-site backup, and that's where online, you know, storing in the cloud, you can have a, uh, you know, you can store your files, your videos on there. Something that you don't have to worry about, you know, in case of a fire or an emergency or your house, you know, uh, you know, burns down or anything like that. You don't lose that data. It's, it's in the cloud. It's on the internet. Something you really don't have to worry about. So, yeah, that's just uh, another big tip for 2011. But uh, moving on to tip three, dealing a little bit more with your new system. With the new year, maybe, you know, some of you uh, who celebrate the holidays may have gotten a new, you know, PC, new Mac, new machine in general. Um, you know, you want to get new apps. You want to check out all the new apps that are out there available for your operating system um, and, you know, get all those apps installed, whether they're most of them here are free. There's some paid software, but you know you can sort it out. So onlineapps.com, if you're a Windows user, is a, basically a Windows application store. You can discover, install, save, and share uh, popular Windows applications. They separate them into certain categories here. You can see security, web, games being a few of them. Um, and you can actually go through and see the top free applications. And you can actually install them right from here. Or you can actually add them to a list. You can make your own custom list and just install them all in bulk. Uh, so you can just get a zip file with all of them, you know, in uh, in one file, so you can unzip them and install them as you go. It saves the hassle of you having to go around to each website and looking for the apps. And you know, sometimes you you may discover new apps that you've never heard about, like Fox Reader is a uh, free PDF reader that's a little bit where I should say way more lettered than Adobe Reader. Uh, there's also Notepad Plus Plus, Skype. You can see here Seven Zip uh, and some plugins like Flash, etc. So it's a it also has featured lists or featured applications right here showing you you know new Windows apps. It's easy to set up and you have the best free apps to install on your PC. Great if you had just got a new system and you want to get some apps on there uh, for your Windows machine. Now for you Mac users, don't think I forgot about you. Uh, if you go to allmymacapps.net, uh, you can create a similar thing called an app box where you can add these things to a list and uh, install them all as an app box. You can also click in certain apps. So for example, one password, if I click this, uh, it'll do this little uh, loading and it should show up a notification box of the average rating that you can, you know, you can rate the app yourself. You can see the average rating that people give it. It gives you a short description of the password or of the application, I should say. Um, from here, you can add it to your app box, download it, report a bad link, or share the app, you know, to Twitter or something. This, will, this as well gives you the option for both apps, you know, both free and paid apps, just free apps or, uh, you know, sort of by just paid apps. And you can sort these into categories for audio, development, finance, etc. So for all you Mac users, you just got a new Mac, you want to, you know, see some great apps that are free or paid uh, in certain categories, you can search through my allmymacapps.net. And last but not least, if you are a Windows user, uh, this is a very useful tool. If you're either reinstalling Windows, you, again, you just got a new machine, this can be for various reasons, this is a bulk installer, so you can install multiple apps at once without toolbars or clicking next, next, you know, through all those installer with all that hassle. You pick your software, no setup required, pick the browser you want, pick the messaging clients you want, Skype, you know, Yahoo, Thunderbird, and Messenger, etc. Pick the media you want, maybe you want iTunes, you may want uh, Audacity or Spotify or Hulu, and then you may want some image editing programs like Paint.net to replace something like Photoshop. Uh, you may want these. These are trial versions for some of these, like the Office Suite is a trial version. You can see clearly marked there. But stuff like Open Office is free. Uh, security, you can get free. Uh, you know, security, obviously, these will be important. Stuff like Microsoft Essentials, which is a free thing for Windows. AVG, Avast, Adware, SpyBot, all do great as free solutions to protecting your PC. And there's some other stuff you can add here. You can click all the, check everything you want, and then just hit Get Installer. And from there, one click, one install. You only have to run through, run through one installer, and it'll go through and check off all the apps as they go down. You can see waiting to download, waiting to install, etc. So 
great way to set up your new PC or you know uh, if you just want to get apps in general you're looking for apps for your PC do check out all these sites all links will be in the video description um, and also uh, I forgot to mention one last thing for you other OS 10 users the same similar site is called osx dot I use this or os 10 dot I use this uh, similar uh, site to all my Mac apps dot net but this just is a voting system where they show like you know I use this app I use uh, etc and they have a top listed and you see new apps interesting apps and go into the common text and they even have this for iPhone and Windows so this kind of the site I use this has it for pretty much mobile Windows and Mac platform all right with that I'm gonna go ahead and let Josh go with the third tip which is uh, learning a skill you know picking up a trait for the new year so go ahead yes this tip is uh, expanding your knowledge learn a coding language um, and the site is w3schools.com. That's W and then the number three schools.com. And they have some awesome tutorials on learning HTML, CSS, XML, JavaScript, HTML, uh, Ajax, just tons of languages. And uh, everything I've learned, I've pretty much learned from here. This is a, a great website for for uh, just getting started into coding. And uh, you can just start on here with HTML and, and work your way down and you can spend months on this website learning new things and uh, this is probably one of the best uh, resources out there for learning a, uh, a language and uh, I would definitely recommend checking this out um, it's it's a great way to spend some time uh, you can really do some interesting things if you spend enough time on here and do some research and that's all for that tip. All right. And, uh, I believe that they have video tutorials this year as well, so you can check out, right? So it's not all. Uh, not a whole lot of video tutorials. Oh, is it? I, the... I believe they just have a few. Just a few. All right. So you can see all the languages here if you want to learn anything like PHP. I'm just showing off right here. So yeah, it's a great site, and uh, you know, a big skill to pick up. You know, uh, you know, it doesn't even have to be programming. It can be anything from you know, getting you can use Photoshop, stuff like that. Just it's a new year, so you know. You may want to pick up something new and uh, pick up a new skill or learn something in uh, programming. With is like you know, there's so many vast things you can learn from basic HTML, CSS, and so on. So, all right, with that, uh, the last tip of the day is uh, social networking. Get networking. It's 2011. Uh, you know, you may be you know missing out on the whole social networking buzz. Maybe you're not on Twitter. You're not on YouTube. Stuff like that. You want to take advantage of these sites, especially. Uh, you know, with a new year, you maybe want to be starting up a website, maybe starting up a service, a business, whatever. Social networking is a big, you know, it's a huge thing in the the uh, generation of today, I guess, because Twitter, YouTube, they've all become platforms for marketing and, you know, just getting the word out there. Uh, and you can use a site like this, is usernamecheck.com. You can type in your brand name, you can type in your username here, and it's going to go ahead and check through the top 20 sites. And it's going to let you know if your username, your brand name is available. So that way, you're starting a business, you're starting a website. You can secure that name through Facebook, through Blogger, through Tumblr. You can check if that name's available, and this will do it automatically for you rather than going to each site and signing up yourself and doing it, or, or checking, I should say. Um, along with that, some uh, you know popular services to mention. Uh, Tumblr, Tumblr.com has become one of the big, easy-to-use, uh, really neat designs for blogging. If you want to start up a, you know, a web blog, you know, you want to post pictures, you want to post videos, you want to do tutorials and stuff like that. You can embed your YouTube videos here as a mobile platform, which is a really simple interface to use and a really easy way to design your blog. Uh, along with that, there's also Twitter. Twitter.com has been one of the big things uh, in the past couple of years. You know, tweeting, or I believe you have about 140 characters or less. It's a easy, free, and instant updates. Uh, and you can get inter information. You can see here, this is the top tweets as they come through. Um, you can uh, use this as a you know platform to connect to other people, you know, meet some new people, discover some new stuff, read up on your news, and of course share your links, share your website, your pictures, all of that as well. Facebook, of course, you can't forget to mention Facebook. Facebook.com uh, helps you connect and share with the people in your life, uh, and I'm sure a lot of you are already on this. But then again, you know, uh, some people don't realize how much of a uh, big influence Facebook can be. You know, especially for a brand or anything like that, you can set up fan pages for your uh, you know, your service, your business, whatever it may be. So Facebook, you may want to get involved in that. And there's some other sites you may want to check out uh, on social networking wise. Dig, dig.com is one to mention. They have, uh, it's a user voted uh, news site where you, so you can vote up on what you think is the best news stories of the day, etc. topic uh, from, you know, entertainment, gaming, lifestyle, technology, and more. 
Um, there's other other sites I want to mention. There's StumbleUpon, Squarespace, WordPress. Obviously, are all other sites that we didn't put up here, but you know, obviously, seems something you may want to check out if you want to get into the whole social networking platform. All right, with that, guys. Uh, Josh, is there anything else you want to add for the whole 2011 advice? Not that I can think of. All right, guys. So uh, do check out our website, of course, as one of your sites that we want to mention, uh, digitaldojos.com. We have recently just converted the homepage so you can see our some of our latest videos along with some tips, uh, some announcements for our from our you know writers and stuff like that from the Happy Holidays from the new podcast that we have every week. We're actually on episode like twelve now, I think. So do check that out. Uh, a lot more content coming for you guys. I hope you guys had a great New Year's, a great holidays. Uh, videos will resume as scheduled. And uh, yeah, so take these tips. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's running about sixteen minutes now. So if you made it to the end. Congrats to you. Hope these tips helped you out. All links will be in the video description below. Or you can head over to digitaldojos.com. I should have a post up by then covering all the tips using and showing the links along with some other exclusive links. So do check out digitaldojos.com. All right, Josh, thanks for uh, joining me today. And uh, for everybody else, we'll see you guys next video.